Hello friends, welcome to Fox Tech. So today we're gonna see another troubleshooting session or the best practice session on the Kubernetes. So today we're gonna try to run the self-healing container uh, in the existing part. Let's assume like uh, you have already existing cluster and you have already one of the pod is running and unfortunately that is not enabled with some restart policies or doesn't have any kind of a prop, right? So in that case, how what we can do and uh, <clears throat> we gonna try it today. So in this tutorial, so we gonna see as following. So we have already existing web server and we have a Kubernetes cluster and in that it as a restart policy is not set and we want to try to set the restart policy and with that if there is any issue with the container the pod will be automatically restarted and to make sure the public pod container is up and running and along with that so to set the restart policy we are going to define some liveness prop so liveness prop will be defined like on which scenario it has to be restarted okay so let's quickly jump into the demo and we'll see that what and how we can do that all right so let me log into my system <clears throat> so this is my system and i have already running with existing pods and this is what my pod is there and you can see web server and also busy box Okay, so busy box, we're going to see to try to connect to the web server and see if that connection is working fine. Okay, so for that, what we cannot do, so as we are seeing the pod is running at this moment, but let's see in, in detail like what is happening. So for that, I'm going to get the pod IP address. So to get the pod IP address, we have to run the white command and this is my pod, right? So how we can check that? So just quickly, you can do some curl option. So with that, you can see what is the response it's providing. So I'm going to do that with EXEZ. And for as I have already busy box. So from the busy box, I'm trying to connect this on the pod running on the same network. So I'm going to put this here. And as I know, the web server is running with 8080. So I'm going to try to curl that response. All right, so you can see um, the pod is running by running state, but internally you can see the application is having some internal server, error, which means the application is not working properly. It needs some troubleshooting things, right? So as it's not working properly, it's hard to troubleshoot or we see some case we are there and we can identify that issue and we can fix it. But as it's already failing state, it's hard to track and even it's still the pod is running so we may not aware of this kind of issues so for best practice always the recommender to enable some liveness probe uh, along with that set some restart po policies so restart policy will help us to restart such a scenarios some cases or most of the cases has we seen the uh, before troubleshooting session if you restart some application or the container that may be heal automatically the issues, right? Mostly this internal server happens, maybe some database connection issues, the database connection may got broke and or something got internally, there is some feature is not working. So that may got stuck or that may have problem. So mostly this kind of issues, when you restart, it's fixed. But even though if it's not working, so once you enable such a restart policies, you can see it in the detail of logs, okay? So how we can do that? So I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna get this YAML of that. So I'm gonna say get pod web server and I'm gonna export the data. So for that, I'm gonna say I can O and I'm gonna extract as a YAML file and let's store it in some file. So I'm gonna save it as server.yaml, okay? So the data will be here, server.yml. Okay, all right. So this is the part data and quickly let's check what has been defined already, right? So to check the restart policy, as we all know, it's under spec, it will be present. So you can see in the spec and if you just scroll down, you could see the restart policy. You can see it here. Restart policy is set never. And also when you check the power containers, 
so you can't see any linus prob is defined at this moment correct okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna do quickly two things one is first is we're gonna set the restart policies to always to make sure the pod is getting restart in case there is any failure occurs okay so this is as we said live always and let's create some linus probe so let's me put it here right so linus probe how we can add so as you guys know already so we can just uh, define the http response right so linus prop colon and we're gonna say http get colon and path as we seen it's responding even in the root file system i'm gonna set say so report typo slash and then so i'm gonna say port 8080 we know that already and then we go i'm gonna set a couple more things first is initial delay seconds to make sure the application is getting up little quick so we have seen this linus probe how it's defined and how where we can use it in the probe session if you have not seen that and you, i will recommend you to see that and get practice on that so i'll be adding that in the description so you can quickly check on that part also right so now we have defined the linus prop and this is the http response path is slash and 8080 and we have set the period seconds and delay seconds also five seconds so i'm setting little long time but in your in your case if your application is need we can respond very quickly or something so you can reduce this time it's not a mandatory one so it's you can defend as, as per your need and also please don't forget to change the port and the endpoint so my application is responding in the root but your application may be responding on the different endpoints you may need to get that and same for the port your application port may be different all right so we have set this restart policy always and also we have created the linus prop let's check it now so as we all know so as we have modified we can't just apply the changes what we have to do first we have to delete the pod so let me quickly delete the pod and we can apply the changes so just we we're gonna do a apply command and that our changes will be reflected right so with this what we can achieve it so in case the levinas probe is failing at any point like a, if it's not responding uh 200 response or between 200 to 294 399 so you may know that 200 to 499 so those kind of response if it's not coming if it's coming 400 or 500 500 is nothing but internal server error again so the response code differs automatically this part will be get caught restarted all right so let's check we have deleted this part all right so the part is not here i'm gonna do kipctl apply hyphen f server.yaml okay so this is up well right so let's check the response now but before that we have to do one more thing so we have to check the new IP as the pod got restarted, the IP may be changed. So what is my IP address now? It's at 12. I'm going to check the response. Okay, now as it's just application started, we may see application is working. Right, so we are able to reproduce the issue, it's failing internally. See, this image is meant to be failed automatically, that's what it's failed now. So once, whenever the restarts, it automatically fixes. So my case, I'm gonna rerun this command and we're gonna see still, we are seeing an internal server error. All right, so let's wait for a couple of seconds. So that may help us to get the, get the pod, get container, get restarted and this issue should be fixed okay so still we are getting internal error 
So let's do it again and again. Let's quickly check is it a pod is got restarted or not. All right, so now the pod is restarted and the response should be actually working. Congrats, right? So this is how it helps. You can see earlier if you are not defining anything and we were running the pods, even it was in failure state for 10 minutes. You can see it's quickly restarted here, but earlier state it was not restarted any time and we were getting internal server error and there's in matter on that side time, right? So this is how you can troubleshoot the issue. So you can enable always Linux prop. That is one of the best practice. And also keep restart always. Maybe it's helpful most of the cases. Sometimes the application gets stuck somewhere and it may need some restart. Exact example, like it may got some memories and that may need some restart. Which again, there is a high risk whenever you are enabling a restart always because in case your application already exhausted with some state and it's keep on restarting in the sense, you are losing, your application may get crashed, okay? So please be sure and based, understand your application and declare such a values always. And that should help you to fix any kind of internal server error or any kind of issues. And with that, you can enable the self-healing pods, right? Hope this video is useful guys. Please support us and we'll see your next example like this and that may help you to troubleshoot further on new new issues. Thanks for your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.